What's up guys, it's Dan Rose here. Um, here today because there was a lot, a lot, and when I mean a lot, a lot of news regarding Sonic right now. And I wanna watch everything, realistically. So we're gonna watch the first trailer and I'll dump my views on it, you know? For a Sonic like Shadow Generation story trailer. So let's get into that. Okay. Ooh, Gerald's lab. And Maria. Shadow the Hedgehog. Mmm. He's getting controlled by Black Doom. I destroyed you once. You did. Ooh! He's giving he's throwing down paws. Get him, Shadow. He's really going after him. Oh my goodness. And there's Sunset Heights playing in the background. It's real good. Holy crap. Chaos Island. It looks like the, the Doom Wings actually cause him pain. Actually, I'm gonna rewind that actually. Hold on. I'm actually, you know, I'm tempted. I haven't drawn Shadow with the wings yet. I only did Doom Morph. So maybe, like, I won't promise it, but, like, maybe I'll do, like, a, you know, a drawing of each, like, Doom Power. Because I'm interested in drawing it. There are interesting ways to do it. Because I see, like, the wings. There's, like, the coat of the wings, actually. And then the tendrils come out. So, realistically, it's drawing the wings first into this, like, goopy-like substance. And then you outline it with the tendrils, and then it makes it pop out like that. It looks a lot to draw, but it's possible. So it's not like it's impossible. Um, but no, look at his face, his expression. He looks like he's actually in pain, writhing in pain, actually, because it's probably strenuous calling upon Black, like, no, Black Doom's power. If he's going to use it for himself, it's probably like messing with this you know mental state i think it's probably because like you know black doom was able to control shadow from shadow the hedgehog because they're blood related so he was able to mind control them so i feel like that might be what's going on oh <gasps> it's my boy it's memphis tennessee memphis is back holy sh <gasps> what is that that looks like a new Black Arms enemy. Maybe it's probably like a scrap concept. Ooh. Oh. He's going in the portal. He's going in the portal. Maria and Gerald. To be honest, uh, I'm going to have to pre-order the Digital Deluxe Edition, like ASAP Rocky, because I'm pretty sure I do have it pre-ordered, or it's in my cart. But regardless of that, we have the second trailer, which also came out, which is Feel the Rush for PS5. Unfortunately, guys, I don't have a PS5, so I'm guessing I'm missing out. Whew! I think that was a rival battle for Shadow with Sonic because I know that an interview with Izuka, everyone was asking, will Sonic appear? Will he make an appearance in Shadow's, you know, story mode? And Izuka was like, you know, yeah, he will make an appearance. So I guess they relegated it to like a rival battle. It makes sense. Sonic wanting to settle the score. Jesus, this game is really not real. I'm so I'm weirded out that it's gonna be running on the switch considering that the new console is coming out Look at final rush my goodness Yeah, that definitely a sunset heights. I Want to know how the the chaos abilities work like the chaos spear 
because uh, I'm more interested in that. If it's just like you run and you just spam it, because then at that point you're just like mindlessly mowing down enemies instead of actually doing it. The only one that feels like intricate is the Doom Blast, which you would think it's like Chaos Blast, but it's not. It's more like the Rush ability in 06, where he actually just fools on attacks you when he uh, dashes into you. So I'm not sure if that's like an upgrade where you can chaos snap, but if you do it immediately after and you press again, maybe that's what happens and it makes the doom blast come out. Or you just get energy by getting rings. But I think that might be for chaos control. I'm not sure. But like, this is great. The lighting is nice. Fixes all the problems from the past games. Oh my goodness. Jesus, Shadow. He really is going to destroy them all, like he said in the first trailer. Jesus. You know, I remember, like, the last state of play, and, like, it wasn't bad, at least from what I'm remembering, but, like, I think it was just, like, uh, I was trying to remember, is it, like, Dead Stranding? I think they announced Death Stranding 2 and Kojima was there. That's all I remember. It's just Kojima. <laughs> and Kojima, son. If I said his name wrong, I'm sorry. It's been a while. But this is the final trailer. So let's see. Oh. Is this Shibuya? I've been into Shibuya a lot. Oh. Movie Shadow, huh? Reeves is joining Sonic X Shadow Generation. <laughs> Keanu Reeves specifically. This update is inspired by scenes from the Sonic What the hell is going on with Shadow's new look? I see he has like that what which lets you play the game three days ahead of its October twenty fifth release date. Wait a minute. Say that again, Goro. I didn't quite hear you. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 movie mm -hmm. and arrives December 12th. The Sonic the Hedgehog 3 movie pack is included in the Digital Deluxe Edition, which lets you play the game three days ahead of its October 25th release date. Okay, so this is what everyone was talking about because people were confused about quite literally um actually playing the DLC because they were wondering if you get it early. That's not the case. So basically, if you pre-order, you get the game early three days. It's kind of like if you pre-order Sparking Zero, you get it like three days in advance. But whatever DLC that is coming, like if you got like the expansion, you get that when the expansion drops. So if people are wondering if they're going to be able to get this stage, you get it near the movie release. So. Really? December? It's a long uh, oh, this is a long wait. I'm sure it'll be fine. It, it, it's looking interesting. I do like how he looks. I think uh, another thing about it, I know I'm replaying it. I think another thing about it is, is that realistically, I'm hoping that we even get a, a Ben Schwartz Sonic skin for Sonic and actually get him voice acting. Not like the whole game, obviously, they're not going to give him a scenario. But if they do, the potential of this game being long lasting and like getting extra DLC is crazy to me. Like, imagine, like, for like the next, I don't know, what, a year? They're just like, yo, paid DLC for gens and. Gener Shadow Gens, and we get more stages and scenarios with characters. Like, wouldn't that be crazy? I think we would be sold. Like, they would make so much money. Not only can they give us, you know, stuff from Gens DS, like, those stages are great, but they can even give us way more stages if they really wanted to. But that's all I'm saying. That is like the craziest cash grab. And more skins? Bro, you won you practically won. And a few more boss battles, memorable characters, like the ocean deep, ocean deep. I think actually, Dark Beginnings is the last thing I think we need to watch. Up oh, there it goes. 
There goes Shadow. Team Dark. The Ark. Isn't that a heavy dog or something? I think that was from Shadow, the Hedgehog. Like, it's one of the bosses. Whew. Emerald's giving Shadow the pause. By Doom's Eye. Whew. I need this, and I'm glad tomorrow we actually get the animation. So, it's been a long wait. Whew. Yeah, I'm gonna need a, a Sonic fighting game after this. Like, you can't just do this to me. Yo, you know it's crazy when they're just playing Shadow the Hedgehog tracks. It's crazy. Ooh, oh man. Yeah, so this is the great part. So tomorrow they're giving us episode one. I'll probably be reacting to it. I have no choice. I feel like I have no choice. I'm obligated. Um, October 3rd, which is not too far off. And then October 10th. So depending on what goes on, I will be seeing you guys on these dates, I guess. But probably not when it actually drops. So I'll probably save my actual reactions because obviously I'm not as excited because I got spoiled realistically. But um, also I was at work, so I can't, you know, record on the spot. But I will say that this is actually really, really good. I'm excited for this game. I'm going to have to buy it. See, I said twice, but realistically, I do want the collector's edition. So I'm thinking, do I buy it via the the bundle? Because if the bundle comes with... See, that's another thing I have to check. The bundle makes it very clear that you get the Gerald's Journal. But I don't think they make it very clear if you actually get uh, the DLC. Like the Digital Deluxe. Which means you'll be missing out on that. Unless you can pay for it separate. But that's like giving them more money. And I don't... Not that I don't want to give them more money. But it's more like, gosh damn. You either get this one. Or you get hoed in like the terio skin and extra additives and and stuff like that i don't want to get screwed over which makes you want to waste more money and i kind of don't want to waste all that money like that and plus i want to get the physical switch edition for the actual gerald book so i don't have to wait a whole year for my statue in the book like realistically but i guess i'll come to that bridge when i get to it but anyways i've been dan You've been doing what you're doing. I've been doing what I've been doing. And I'll catch you on these dates, I guess. Well, you'll probably be seeing me soon because I have some theory videos about Shadow. So maybe you guys want to stick around for that. And one is about Gerald and one is about Maria. And maybe about Frontiers too. But I won't keep you. Catch you later.